Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here. My apprentice Brent is joining me here again. Um, I wanted to uh, do another little Jarkai segment here, not uh, too much, and then you'll see we're going to get into some contentious stuff. Uh, and this will kind of lead into it. But uh, one thing that's been mentioned a bunch of times on our LX forum and in some of the comments and all of that is using different sized sabers <coughs> with dark eyes. So that you have a long saber and a short saber, right? Now in the Jedi Path and Wikipedia and everything like that, they say the Shoto or the short saber is held in the off hand. Um, and that's, you know, to be reminiscent of, say, rapier and dagger, and that kind of thing. Um, also, uh, uh, Musashi's um, wakasashi and katana type of uh, movements and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> it's a little different with, with, with the lightsabers. And again, it's because you don't have a guard. Um, so there's a lot of things that are kind of unavailable to you when you're kind of using it in, in that kind of sense. So let me quickly <clears throat> throw my helmet on here. So on one hand, if I have the long saber up like this, right, and I'm coming in here, and I want to use this, and I want to use this saber as, as the parrying saber, Right, I'll keep it up here and then try to come in here. Um, now, when I have a guard with a, with a conventional steel saber, if he's coming in with a downward strike, I can parry that sucker and come in. So I got a lot of stuff available to me when I, when I got this kind of thing here. What I have available to me with this is essentially stuff like that, either just hitting it over to the side, but I'm not going to be able to catch it like I would a dagger, right, or if I was holding a dagger, right, so that's a little bit of a limitation for me. I have found that if you're going to use two different sizes, I like to put the long one in my non-dominant hand and put the short one in the dominant hand so that I can have quick parries and be threatened with this and draw them into a shorter distance than they think they're at. So I can even use this and make them think they're safe, but as you see, as he's engaging here, he is well within my striking distance with this one here. If I'm like this, for one thing, I'm not necessarily, if it's my non-dominant hand, I'm not necessarily going to be as great with this, right? But also, I'm, this, I'm probably going to be favoring this side. So as I'm like this, I can come in, right? And I can totally do that type of stuff. But I'm not necessarily going to have at least, and I got to say, this is probably very personal as well. Um, I'm, I don't feel as confident when, when I'm in here like this, OK? Now, true, if you're ambidextrous, and a lot of people train ambidextrously, you can switch them up um, and go, go to town on there. But it's going to be a little bit different than, say, um, rapier and dagger, because you don't have exactly the same parrying qualities with this. Um, the other thing is holding it in reverse grip, which is often common with double, double styles and everything like that, does not necessarily give you the same advantage for the same reasons. I don't have as much parrying this or the other with this without a guard. If I had a guard here, I could come in and I could catch that blade and I could move it all the way over to open up my strike, strike range. I don't have this. Now, if you have a saber like this, put a short blade in it, you got a guard there, hey, go to town. <clears throat> but um, generally speaking, we're not going to have a, a huge guard on that kind of thing. So, well, that means it's basically kind of my opinion um, as far as which hand to, uh, to use the, uh, the parrying uh, 
weapon in. Um, I have found it to be more advantageous for me to do what I would not do with steel weapons, which is short one in the dominant hand and long one in here. Now the other mitigating factor to all of this is that these are not steel weapons, so they're much lighter. You can wield two full-sized lightsabers with little problem. You can't really wield two full-sized katanas very easily. Um, same with two rapiers. You can do it, but they're very long and ungainly. And um, having one long saber will give you that reach. Um, if they're both the same length, as I said in the, in the previous video, better to go short because you want that, that uh, maneuverability that you don't necessarily get with um, a long saber in, in, in that sense. So, um, there you go. A little bit of perspective on the offhand, on-hand Shoto type of thing, and a little bit of a difference with with uh, the lightsabers and the steel. So, again, thanks to uh, Ben for helping me out here. Uh, thanks to you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Join us up on Facebook. Have a great day, and happy saber